Hi, I'm Tom Janssen from thoughtsonjava.org with a new Hibernate tip. This time I will show you how to use a custom database sequence with JPA and Hibernate. The first thing you need to do is to tell Hibernate that you want to generate the primary key value. You can do that by annotating the primary key attribute with the generated value annotation. You can see an example of it in the first code snippet. The annotation is defined by the JPA specification and it allows you to choose between different generation strategies and to reference a generator by its name. I want to use a custom sequence and therefore use the generation type sequence. I also tell Hibernate to use the generator author generator. If you don't specify a generator, Hibernate will use its default sequence generator. In the next step, you need to define a sequence generator with the name you referenced in the generated value annotation. You can see an example of it in the second code snippet. I just define the name of the generator and the name of the sequence. The sequence generator supports a few more attributes which you can use to define the database schema name, the allocation size, and other attributes of the sequence. Let's switch into the IDE and see how Hibernate uses this custom sequence definition. Here you can see the author entity which I annotated in the same way as I showed you on the slide. The ID attribute maps the primary key of the author table. I want to generate its value with a sequence and define the details in a generator with name author generator. You can see it in the next line. I define it with a sequence generator annotation and tell Hibernate to get the value from this database sequence. That's all you need to do to use a custom database sequence. I prepared a small test case that persists a new author entity. You can see it here. I just create a new author object, set its first name and last name attributes, and provide it to the entity manager persist method. As you can see here, Hibernate executed an SQL query to get the next value from the sequence and used it to persist the new author entity. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to learn more about Hibernate, you should join the free Thoughts on Java library. It gives you free access to a lot of member-only content like an ebook about Java 8 support in Hibernate, lots of cheat sheets and a video course. I'll add the link to it to the video description below. See you next week for a new Hibernate tip and if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below.